Haters would say it's fake, but we will come back to the knees later in this video. Yeah, the second fight was just a few days later against a Thai again. Uh, he's smaller than me, I should have a slight weight advantage and here, rate that please in the comments. Would I hit him or not? What do you think? If you see that, because I stepped very close to him but I didn't execute the kick. Still very average, um, not good boxing, uh, not even good kicks. Everything still in the beginning stage, but we would improve, especially in the next fight. Here you can see that very well, but I just pulled down his guard with my left hand and then threw a right punch straight into his face and that was it. And now fight number three against my first foreigner as a opponent, Biden from the US. Yeah, <laughs> that's good. That's good. Always have the last punch or the last kick. Always counter back. That's good for scoring. But he dominated me in the first round. I had really big problems against him and I had to step up my game. I was forced to, to improve. I couldn't. Yeah, and here we slip both. We slipped both, I slipped first and then he slipped also and so that's how I ended in this position here. But it didn't hurt me, I was playing it very cool. <laughs> he has a very, always hit me with the jab. I stole that from him, I do that now also. You see that again, the jab and he hit me always, all the time. And here I just took a knee right into my face. But the fight is not over. We go into round two. I continued pushing and being aggressive, attacking. Going into the clinch, hitting knees. I refuse to give up, even if he's right now the better opponent. A spinning elbow, my first one <laughs> ever. And hitting the knees. Yes. I think the, the elbow hurt him. Definitely. We continue doing so in round three. I still have gas and the adrenaline is just rushing through my body. Elbow again on his temple. And here the jab. <laughs> I, I did it too. Last round. Bam. Important, very important shot. Make him tired with the knees. Again, knees and he, yeah. That's, that should be it. Come on, finish it. Punches, knees to the head, and he's flying into the ropes. That was a great comeback. Yes, and the referee finished the count. In fight number four, I would face a stadium champ. This one here is the former Tape champion of the stadium here in Chiang Mai. Oh, and it's Liberty here. <laughs> and he was very kind, big respect here. Nice kicks from him, good punch. I also do some shots here, block the kick and hit a left kick, yes, good one. My strategy is because I'm very good with the knees going into the clinch. Even as a foreigner, I know the ties are so dangerous in the clinch. Ah, I blocked his elbow. <laughs> ties are so yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why. That's why he gave me big elbows here on my jaw. That hurt me also. So I just do what I do the best. 
hit my knees. We are took a left hook. What I'm doing very good is my punches are not hard, it's not the best technique, but I use them as a gate opener for for the clinch. And that's why here I had good knees to him, almost hit his head. And uh, he get the first standing count. Again his left hook, another one. Here we are exchanging knees. Come on, yes. Why that knee could knock him out? Drive the knee up and deliver up to 2.5 tons of force, enough to lift a car. A strong knee is enough to lift a car and if you get that power to your body, it definitely hurt. So, fight number five against my rival, Chofa. Here's my first experience with him. He had very good low kicks, hit at my shin all the time. After the fight, it was blue as hell. Also strategy here was to not get into the low kicks, continue with the clinching in my knees. Like this. Yeah, that's what I meant. Good knees from him also. He's also very strong in the clinch, so I had big problems too here the first rounds. We're coming to round number three already. Just... <laughs> One knee after another. Both. Ooh, that's a knee to my ass. Good score for him. And then I started to throw more punches. Because I saw he's not defending them very well and that was his weakness. In the clinch you were almost equal. You see that here, sometimes he's dominating me in the clinch. So I had to switch things up. I could still continue if I got the chance to hitting my knees in the clinch, but I had to throw more punches. Even if I not have good hands yet, I had to throw. Uppercut and a hook. <laughs> And here I slipped and took my time <laughs> to get up because I was very tired <laughs> in round 4 here. He's making a sneaky high kick and we're slipping both, slipping into the clinch. And that was a good punch but very stupid that I, that I grabbed him because I think he would just fall down. Your cameraman is fixing the quality. And here I tried to enter the clinch again. Yes, got his head and hit my knees. Teep, knees, good knees here, elbows. And now you can see here, he can't even kick anymore. He's very tired. And he's not protecting himself. He's not blocking the punches, so the ref stopped the fight. And that's the rematch here. That's Chofa too with a new haircut. He looked more dangerous now, to be honest. And the promoters and him also wanted a rematch because they said, oh, he could win by points or he would win by points if the referee wouldn't stop the fight. So, so we had to find a true winner here in this bout. And this time it's also for a stadium belt. Because Chofa was the number one contender. Should get his chance to win a title. And I'm also now undefeated, five fights in a row. So we both fought here for the title. And I improved here a lot of my clinching game, my knees, continued with the punches. I knew about his low kick, so I I wanted to end this fight very quick. Because the last fight against him left some scars on my legs. <laughs> Round two. Yeah, that's good. And big scoring. This time I dominated him in the clinch. Also a up elbow to make him tired and continue the knees. Another elbow. And he's losing balance here. 
and it's hitting back with the elbows. Yeah, that one was a good one. I, lucky, luckily, I had I had no cut, and here I dropped him. That was that was too much. He's breathing hardly. The ref continues the fight, and here, that's it. 6-0 undefeated here in 2023 in Thailand. My next fight is coming up in just three weeks in January 2024. We start early. Subscribe if you don't want to miss that. See you there. Yeah.